Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your last PSD to WordPress lesson and in this video I want to show you where you can go to take your WordPress knowledge further. Alright then ninjas, so first things first, I want to say a huge thank you for bearing with me during this tutorial series. I hope it's had some impact on you and uh, it's been beneficial to you in some way or other. So hopefully now you can go out and at least attempt to make your own WordPress theme, okay? So thanks once again, but there are a few different things we can do to take our WordPress knowledge further. This course has been a fairly kind of beginnerish. Okay, we've delved into a few more advanced topics like creating custom loops, but uh, it's kind of an introductory course, if you like, to theme development. There's tons to learn. All right, and this website right here has been a goldmine for me in the past when I've been learning WordPress. Okay, it's the WordPress code reference. I'll leave this link down below if you want to go check it out. I've spent days and weeks in here just mining through the different functions and what they do, um, all the different options here from the API. So if you want to learn something, all you have to do is search for it here or just click on what they suggest here and you can read all about it. It gives you an in-depth discussion most of the time, tells you what parameters the functions take, where to use it, etc. Really good reference site. So go check that out. Second thing I want to show you is the plugin directory. And I mentioned once before, you can pretty much do anything you want in WordPress with a plugin. Any kind of extra functionality you want to add to your website, there will be a plugin most likely for it. And I know that's not always the answer. Sometimes you want a very custom approach to something. And for that, my friends, you are going to have to probably learn PHP. Um, otherwise, you can go and check out the plugin directory, search all these plugins and find something for your WordPress site, which is pretty cool. They all have, uh, well, most of them have good documentation so they'll tell you how to use them and all that jazz the third thing i want to show you is the theme directory and when i first started creating themes i didn't really know where to start so what i'd do is i'd look for themes in the theme directory and i'd download them and i'd browse through the code and i'd find common pieces in the code between different themes and that's how i kind of learn i built from these com uh, common pieces so what I suggest you do is go and check out a few different themes, download a few that you like, check out the code. Uh, if there's any kind of neat functionality or dynamic stuff that you like on it, find out how they do it by just delving into the code. That's all there is to it. So, like I say, these are the three kind of areas I'd probably go off and research to take your knowledge one step further. In the future, I'm also going to do a WordPress 101 playlist on this channel. So I'm going to be doing like tidbits here and there, little one um, video tutorials on how to do more advanced things in WordPress so stay tuned for that. I'm also going to do probably a PHP course in the future as well so if you want to kind of dive deeper into WordPress and create your own plugins or extend it in any way shape or form then you want to gonna uh, then you're gonna want to check that course out that's probably coming in a few weeks time. Um, so yeah thanks once again for watching this playlist if you have any questions whatsoever uh, whatsoever feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share and like, and I'm going to see you in the very next playlist that I create. I'll see you guys then.